when I select that, you'll notice that this frame now has a number of different grids. It's by default a two by two grid. Now, when I drag objects into that grid, we're gonna see how they get placed in and we can then uh, uh, rearrange them as necessary. So if I were to take a look at this frame, this grid frame, you can see I have a number of objects already within it. When I adjust this gap value, you see the gap applied there. I adjust that vertical gap, and then I begin to adjust that padding. You can see that the objects that are occupying the cells inside of that grid frame, right? They're currently set to fill in both directions. So the resizing of those objects is currently set to fill and fill as they're placed inside of those cells. So when I adjust the row gap or the vertical gap or the padding, they're then going to be more inset. That allows me to then edit those values. So you can see here, I'm adjusting those values. I can move that left and right. 